Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today we're going to be having another look at a car that has been on my channel for a long time. This is my mom's 2007 Jeep Liberty Limited. It's been around two to three years since I last made a video of this Jeep, and I figured since it's going to be sold very soon, I would uh, update you guys with a final tour on it. The one of this Jeep does actually have a uh, custom remote start, but the remote, I think, is on its last limb, so it's not exactly working as well as it used to. Like, there we go. You have to get right up next to the, uh, the door to actually unlock it. It has a gray interior with the silver exterior. As you can tell, a little bit of soft touch material here and up on top here. This is all just hard plastic. Mirror controls, as well as door locks on the doors. Door handle, a little cubby down below, as well as a speaker. So go and have a seat. Cloth seats. Go ahead and shut this door. Take the key. Here's a stock key. As well as the uh, aftermarket remote. Key goes over in here. We'll put down the uh, windows, which are automatic for passenger and driver's side down only. And we'll go ahead and start it up. As you can see, it still fires right up after eight years. But to uh, start off, of course I showed you the door panel already. There's a vent on this side, light controls over here. As you can tell turn signals, all that kind of stuff. Cruise control on the steering wheel, come out with a horn in the middle. Gauges, you got a fuel gauge, uh, 120 mile per hour attack or speedometer, attackometer, red line is at 6,000 RPMs, and a uh, temperature gauge on the far right with all of your warning lights around that. This Jeep has 78,000 miles on it. Stability uh, traction control, turn that off right here, which as you can tell. It lights up in the middle down there. You just turn it back on by pushing it. Vents over here, which are just simple to use. Flashers, radio, which works really good. And wait, they're actually, they're playing Christmas music already, just to let you know. So turn down that. Uh, seek is simple. You just seek through stations. Tuning over there for fine tuning. AM, FM mode, audio, which is your the the various settings. Presets, CD player. Set your uh, stations. Eject CD. Scan. Climate control down here. Fan speed. Different locations or zones and your temperature on the far right. There's a little cubby down below, as well as a uh, 12 volt power outlet right here. Four wheel drive transfer case. This car has a, uh, this Jeep has a four speed automatic transmission. Overdrive shift shiftable on the uh, left side of the, the uh, shifter there, and it shows up on the dash when we turn it on and off. So, as I said, power windows, window lockouts, automatic down in uh, driver's and passenger side. Emergency brake right down here. Cup holders. A little bit of storage in here. Uh, manual mirror. It does have a powered sunroof, which is automatic back, as you can tell. As well as, you can close it, and you can uh, tilt it up too, by just hitting the middle. You just push forward to put it back down. A couple of lights, close that again. Do you have a mirror on the driver's side, along with a light? 
because of uh, the antenna for the uh, remote start or the, the aftermarket remote start uh, locking system. And go ahead and turn on the headlights, fog lights, and the flashers. Turn the radio off, and we'll check out the outside. Two thousand and seven is actually the last year of this generation, the first generation of the Jeep Liberty. Afterwards, it was changed to a uh, more boxy style with boxier headlights and all that. And they did actually change these in between. Uh, they facelifted them. About, I think two thousand four was the first year for the facelift. Uh, they used to have the fog lights on the bumper, but they changed them to where they're on the uh, in the grill here. Chrome grill with the Jeep badge right above. These are 17 inch wheels. Alloy. Does have roof racks on top? Black door handles. Cap. Full size spare on the back. Satellite antenna up on top. Along with the third brake light, does have a rear windstriper. This is a 3.7 liter model, limited. Chrome trim down the sides. Antenna. Oh, it's blacked out mirrors. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. has the 3.7 liter V6. It makes about 210 horsepower. Close the hood. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. We'll check out the rest of the vehicle. Go ahead and have a look at the passenger side. Power locks. Now we have a seat. As you can tell, everybody up here. 
Glove box down here. Again, has a mirror with a light on the visor. Pretty much all the same stuff coming down the center console. Go and check out the back seat. Legroom is not incredibly great in these, so if you, have the, if you have the front seats all the way back. I'm six feet tall, and as you can tell, my legs up are up against the, uh, the back of the front seat. There's a pocket back here, which you can like put your maps and other various paperwork into. Passenger driver's side does not have any. Mirror controls are right here for each side. Handles up the top. And if you'd like to flip the front seat back, or the rear seat forward, I should say, there's a lever right up here on top. Pull on that, and you just push it forward. There are actually two ways to open the rear uh, hatch and the rear window. First off, if you would just like to open the window, you just pull this halfway out and it pops the window. And then you pull all the way and it opens the bottom. But you can also take the key, as you can tell here, it has a, uh, a window popper on the key. So you just close that and you hit it twice and it pops it open. You just do the same thing for the bottom. Coming into the back, it's all carpeted. There are uh, hook downs if you'd like to hook some down in the back, as well as a power outlet over here. It does have a privacy protector, which you just pull out, and then just kind of seat on the sides here, as you can tell. And you have a privacy protector. Also, sorry about my camera. It's not very happy at the moment. Okay. So you got a privacy protector. As you can probably see whenever I pulled the back seats up, you do have a uh, child uh, seat hook or uh, anchors, that's what they're called, on the back of the back seat. So there's a little pocket over here, if you'd like to leave something in there. It does have a defrosted rear window. And go ahead and shut this first. And then you close the window. So thank you guys very much for watching this video of the 2007 Jeep Liberty Limited. Be sure to check out next week. There's going to be a uh, review type video that I'm gonna be putting up where you can see my face and I'll drive it and I'll talk about it more. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.